Right, good morning, it's Sunday morning, uh, we're at Lawford Lakes again, um, it's a Grandmasters qualifier today. This match is an open match in its own right and then from tomorrow it's the four day Silverfish Festival so we're down here now for the next four nights. I've come down with a good mate Richard Vaughan and Martin Edis from Sheffield. Three of us in a van which is entertaining in itself, especially with Richard involved. <laughs> um, it's an open match in its own right today. I've already qualified for this so that's good, I'm going to sit back today and do what I did last week and just kind of sit it out for carp. There's 49 anglers booked on, I'm not sure if they're all here yet, we're going to go and check. All three lakes are going to be in, we think. Uh, big weight one on match late yesterday with 150 pounds. There was another 100 pound plus weight, so and a 90 pound as well. So it's looking like the favourite for today is going to be to draw on match lake. Some of the lads are going to use this as a, a bit of an experiment for the next four day festival. They're going to fish for skimmers if they draw on special lake, that is. So they, some of them lads will probably use it as a throwaway match. We'll see what happens. Going to go, on, uh, go inside now, hopefully draw a flyer. I'm just going to try and fish to win and um, that's it, so I'll see you down on the bank. Right, Martin's just took the van up there. Martin's drawn on Special Lake, Burr 28. Um, he's just going to fish to win the match today. I know he's not fished for skimmers yet on, on there, but it's, it's a big pot of money to fish for today, so he's going to go for that and try and qualify for the Grandmasters final. Um, I have drawn on Match Lake 20, never fished it before, I've only been on this lake twice ever. Um, and two pegs to my left is you, are you on 18? 18. What do you reckon Rich? You. <laughs> you. <laughs> you can probably hear his boots flapping because he's got no lining in them, you know, and somebody's got shoes on that are too big. But uh, we don't know what to expect, do we? Not at all, no. Richard's not fished it at all this year, he's not even been, I don't think, since last year's festival anyway, so, but this is where um, £150 and all the top weights were. They were really good weights on match late yesterday, so this is the favourable lake compared to Spessy Lake, but as ever, you, we, we never know what's going to happen, do we? So, so that's it. Just going to unload now and we'll see you down at the bank. Right, it's just 10 minutes before the off. Um, like I say, I'm on peg 20 on the grass on Match Lake. Hope you can hear me alright with this wind. John, uh, give us a wave, John. Come on, John. <laughs> John Ferris at the next peg with his beard. It's good to see him actually. I think it's only the time he's been down here. I think it's the first time he's down for the festival. So it's good to see Johnny fish up around Carmel and that. Um, I'm on peg 20. Next one down. There's Richard. Travelling partner Richard Vaughan, he's the next but he's never fished on here before either but he's just going to fish a, a method all day I think, just try and win the match, simple as that. No skimmer con um, approaches today, we're saving that for the week and uh, we're expecting a big weight coming off here today. We don't know if we're in the right area for it but we're going give to give it a go. Two nets in, usual setup, one for silvers, one for carp. Um, I've gone short, short of halfway, I'm just going to fish a method basically. Be patient, drink some coffee. And uh, I can, I've got a good view of what's happening around the lake from this peg as well, so I'll be able to see what silvers are caught opposite as well. So you know, there's going to be a section on here for the next four days in the Silverfish Festival. So, other than that, on this lake, I'm not sure else we've got other than Grant. We've got Grant Albert, who is the other side of that island, and he fancies that, I believe. Um, I won't be around to see him, but he, he does fancy it. And that's it. Um, like I said, Martin Wingman, Martin Edis, he's on the M peg 28 on Specy Burr. He's just going to fish to win the match as well. He's got three rods set up. He's not going to bother with the pole. And I don't think he's even going to attack or try for skimmers. Just going to fish for carp. That's it. That's it. It's going to be one of the matches like last week. Just going to have to sit and wait and have a lot of faith in what I'm doing. So, so that's it. So I'll check in in about an hour with you. I'm going to get my coat on, uh, pour a cup of coffee, and um, just see how the first hour goes. And if we've got to change anything, I'll just I'll just see what happens around me. So I'll see you in about an hour. have just really died down now. Just had one indication out of the blue. Switched to a yellow dumbbell. And it's another little skimmer. Fishing with an orange dumbbell, the new juice waft. 
rafters. Switched to yellow and I got that skim of first chuck. This has only been in four minutes, the second cast on a yellow. I've got a little carp on. back out after that carp and it's gone straight around where you're skimming. We did about two minutes. weight on this section here. Richard on my last got two carp, a couple of F1s and a couple of skimmers really, um, struggling a little bit. No idea what they've caught past him. On my right, John, he's alternated different methods to be fair and I think he's got about, he's got a couple of carp and maybe a couple of F1s. I think he's had some small skimmers on the pole as well. Lad the other side of him, I'm not sure what that is, I can't really see, but um, I think he's got at least four net fish. <laughs> Um, but I think I'm doing best on this section. No idea how Special Lake's fishing. Like I said, this is one big match, um, so we are up against it with them as well. So, no idea what's been caught. No, not heard anything else about where Grant is or down in the hot peg or the pegs that produced yesterday. I have no idea. So, all I can do is just fish the peg I've got. I'm sticking on that same line. Two hours to go. I'm hoping um, it's just, it's just going to keep ticking over really. So I think I've got about 48 pounds. So. I'm going to carry on doing exactly what I'm doing um, and just hope for a, you know, a good last spell.
I've ended up with 94 pound, which I mean the fish have weighed a lot more than what I thought, and you know I'm obviously I'm really pleased with the weight that I've got from that section, especially the way that I've done it. Um, I've just fished down that one all all day um, at that range, just short of halfway, which worked out at 34 meters. That's just what it worked out at. And um, I've caught them all on, I've caught the first two fish on a yellow dumbbell uh, wafter, the juice ones that I've been using that I won with last week. Um, sorry, I caught two on orange, orange first and then the rest I've caught on yellow, interestingly. So, so that's great, it's given me more confidence in, in that new bait, which is brilliant. Um, Richard's had a really good, Richard Vaughan on my left, he's had a cracking last hour, hour and a half. You know, he's fed, he's fed short six metres to, to, to drop on it later on. And he's had a nice little run of fish. He's done really, really well. He's got back into it. Uh, and as it turns out, he's ended up winning our section by default. So he's picked up 50 quid, which is brilliant. So, yeah, so I've finished up. I've weighed 94 pounds, as you probably see, saw the weighing. And I've ended up fourth in the match. Um, there was 100 pound for third. And then Grant has ended up weighing 115 pounds. Brilliant, well done, mate. He's done great. He's caught, I think he's caught, if not all his weight, on the pole, I think. He's caught some down the margin or just the bottom of the slope um, to one side. And, and Chris has done brilliant again. Chris Centre has won the match with 120 pounds. He was uh, opposite the island, opposite me, but slightly to my right. Um, and if this is true, Chris, if you're watching, I apologise if this is wrong, but I was told he's literally only had about 10 or 15 pound of skimmers going into that last two hours, um, and he's gone down his margin, which he's fed, he's fed both sides down a margin, I don't quite know how close he's fished to the pallets next to him, it might have just been down the slope in the deeper water, and he's had all his weight there, fantastic, and but that's what happens on these sorts of venues, you know. Even going into that last hour, you're never really out of it. If, if you know, especially with the margin, because a, you're fishing quite close. B, the, a lot of the fish that you catch on that line can be, you know, good fish, um, and you know you can really rack up a weight because you're fishing close in. You can really build a good weight, and that's exactly what's happened. They turn up for Chris, and he's made the most of it. You know, he knows what he's doing. So well done, Chris, if you're watching, mate. Really. Um, so that's it, really. It's been great. Picked up 100 quid for fourth. There's ended up there's been 51 anglers here today, which is brilliant. Um, so that's it, that's it. I could put the carp gear away now. Tomorrow is the first day of the Silverfish Festival. So just want to thank everyone for watching. I'm back in the digs now. I'm just looking forward to go upstairs, have something to eat and beer, and just a bit of chill out with Richard and Martin. Um, so yeah, so thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Another cracking event at Larford. It'd, it'd be great to see more anglers coming here now, especially when it's fishing well like it is. But that's it, no carp tomorrow, they don't count. So from day one, which is tomorrow, the Silverfish Festival, it's all about the skimmers. So that's it. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. And uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the next one, which is going to be an hour-long hour -long video of the Silverfish Festival. So that's it, thanks for watching. Today, with quick, Jamie Allison. <laughs> Third place today, we've been trying to be friends, is Johnny Baker. Yeah. Oh, no. Second place today, Brian Jones. Grant Orbit. Third place today, Chris Centre. Well, 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 well,